Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so what we're doing today is a 40 minute butt and shoulder workout. Oh yeah, we're gonna get those. So I have kind of my lighter dumbbells for my shoulder work. So I have my five by eight and my 10 pound dumbbells, so kind of your light ones. And I also have my mini bands for my uh, glute activities. Now, if you don't have that, you're still gonna get a great workout. You might also wanna grab a dumbbell to use in some of those in case you don't have a, a mini band. Don't forget a sweat towel, a drink, and your great attitude. And let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully you had a chance to grab your weights and your uh, resistance bands if you have them. And if so, let's get warmed up. Let's start with just some nice gentle squats coming down and up, just down and getting those legs moving there. We've got two more. Last one. And then this time we're gonna touch down and reach to the sky. Start getting those shoulders moving too. Reach on up, down and up. Start opening up those hips, getting those shoulders. And last one. And then we're just gonna rotate and pull that leg back. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Keep opening that up. We got two more. The last one. And then right here, we're just gonna do a nice good trunk twist. Get that mobility in there. Two more. Last one. And then we're gonna go right over to the side. Nice big lean. Getting the shoulder moving. Two more. The last one, and then right here, we're gonna do big winds. Woo, baby. Whole range of motion on that shoulder, and then the other direction. Oh yeah. And then the other side, we're gonna go right up overhead. Two more. The last one, and then right here, big wind. Getting that full range of motion on that shoulder, and then the other direction. And then we're gonna take those hands, we're gonna touch down opposite hand to foot, hinge it down, gliding those hamstrings, getting that hip moving a little bit more. Two more. One more to each side. And then we're gonna go right here. We're gonna go down and up in that lunge, drive those shoulders up, opening up that chest. Two more. Last one, we're going down and then straightening. Ooh, glide that hamstring. Glide that hip flexor. Two more. Last one. We're gonna get you a little bit lower. We're gonna drop that hip a little bit more and rotate through. Opening up that hip. Just dropping that in and rotating. Oh yeah, baby. And we're gonna come on up. We're gonna go to the center and we're gonna go down and glide to each side. Get those inner thighs moving. Want that hip really moving well as we activate that glute. Two more. Last one. And then we're going to the other side. We're going down and up. Driving those hands again. Two more. Last one. And then you're going down and then straightening that knee to the best of your ability and down. Gliding that hip flexor, getting that hamstring moving. Two more. Last one, and then we're gonna drop that back knee and just rotate in, really opening up that hip. Oh, that feels so good, yes. And then we're gonna go right down into quadruped. We're gonna keep those arms, those elbows straight. We're gonna sink in and out. Really getting that moving there. And then we're going to take those feet and we're gonna drive that leg right up towards the ceiling and activate that glute. Two more. The last one, and go out to the side and squeeze. Last one, and the other side. Drive that up and squeeze that glute. Just get that baby activated and ready to rock and roll. And out to the side. Last one, and we're gonna go into plank and drive that down. And then we're gonna pump those heels. And then we're gonna walk that baby up. We're gonna hang right here and we're gonna rotate over. Look up there, roll that wrist for me. Come back down, look to the other side, roll that wrist and walk that baby up. We're gonna go down and back. Ooh, yeah. Two more. Last one. 
Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, so for the first activity, we're gonna focus on that glute. We're gonna take that mini band, if you have it, and we're gonna lean over, and we're gonna just drive that hip back. We're gonna keep that foot flexed, that knee straight, and we're gonna drive up towards that ceiling, squeezing that glute. Then we're gonna stand up, we're gonna use that same side, we're gonna work to the other side. We're gonna work that outer thigh and that glute, right like that, so you can grab your mini band. Now, if you don't have that, you can take, gravity is gonna be a lot, you can even use a, um, a weight right here and drive that back there. But let's get in position and try this. Are you ready? Here we go. In three, two, one. We're driving back. Okay, so you can hold on to something, the couch, or you can just lean on over and you're just gonna drive that hip, that leg back with that knee straight, foot flex, drive it back to that, squeezing the crease of that glute. So we got gravity against that resistance. And then if you want to, you can add the resistance band. Ooh, yeah, 15 more seconds. We're gonna work for 40 seconds today. We're gonna do three rounds, so we're gonna really work it. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna come up, we're gonna do that same side, we're gonna go out to the side. Now make sure we're not gonna tip to the side. It's just a little bit of a lift to the squeeze. Are you ready? Here we go in three, two, one. Again, if you need to, grab something for balance. That's perfectly fine. But I also like challenging you on the balance. Now, I am working my left leg a lot during this time as I lift my right leg. So it's gotta work. That glute actually has to work a lot to stabilize me and to stabilize that hip. I'm keeping that knee straight still. I'm keeping that toe flexed right now. Okay, we work different fibers depending on if our knee's straight, our knees are bent. If our foot is flexed or if our toes are pointed, a little bit different focuses. Come on, keep lifting. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Now we've got the other side. We gotta go back to that extension, okay? So we're gonna have that little bit of that bent flex so we can get that nice, good gravity pull. Here we go in three, two, one, and kick on back. Really think about picture squeezing that glute getting that crease to, <laughs> to squeeze and crumple. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice good squeeze. Now when we're focusing on what we want to activate, we're gonna be much more effective in that. Okay, and again, your right leg is a little tired and it's having to stabilize. It's working too, so we are working both sides this way. Okay, here we go, and we've got five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Now we gotta go back up and we gotta go right to that side. Woo, oh yeah. Again, use your balance where you need to, but keep challenging that balance system. Maybe just have it close by. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're out and lift. So for the last round, we will do uh, half and half. So I'll give you a countdown on switching that way. Lift and squeeze keeping that trunk nice and upright and it all just coming from that leg. As soon as you switch, as you turn that um, trunk, then we're not activating quite what we're looking for. So it doesn't have to be range of motion, big range of motion, it's not. It's just a nice good lift to get that squeeze. You've got 10 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're doing half and half, okay? So we're leaning down and I will give you a countdown to know when to switch. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, kick that baby back. Okay, look that squeeze. It's a little more fatigued right now, but don't worry. Next round, we're gonna work on those shoulders. <laughs> Keep it up, let's go. Nice, good squeeze. And we've got three, two, one switch side, kick that other leg back. Finish this set. Nice, good squeeze. Stay focused on what you're doing. Nice balance challenge with it, right? <laughs> and stabilizing it. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, same thing. We're gonna do half and half on each side with those leg lifts. <sighs> Catch that breath. Are you ready? Here we go in three, two, one, out and squeeze. Again, keeping that trunk upright, not letting that twist. 
Okay, I want it all coming from that hip. Nice, good squeeze and lift. And here we go, three, two, one, and shift dives, oh yeah. Let's finish here. Almost there, come on, lift and squeeze. 10 more seconds. And then we'll get rid of the band. We'll grab some weights from some shoulder activities. And here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo! My glute feels worked. My, my hips feel worked. Okay, so the first activity, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a shoulder press. We're gonna come up right here and right here. So we're gonna stick with just the right side the first round, left side on the second round, both on the third round, okay? So we're gonna burn that out. The second activity is we're going to do we're gonna go from forward all the way up, and then we're gonna go neutral all the way up. So we're only gonna go from eye level all the way up overhead, and we're gonna do from thumbs up to palms down. Okay, so we'll do the both directions. So let's start first with those shoulder presses. Let's get in position. We're gonna have one side hold and the other side move. And we've got three, two, one. So I'm gonna go up on that right side, but I'm gonna give that isometric hold on that left side with that 90 degree elbow, that 90 degree shoulder. And let that burn that way as I move up overhead with that right shoulder. We're gonna do the other side next. This is why I don't have a lot of heavy weights because this is gonna burn these out. 10 more seconds. And we're gonna go to the shoulder raises. You probably wanna be pretty light on that. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Trying to maintain good form, okay? So we're gonna go from out here and up and back down and then switch and up, back down. Here we go. Three, two, one. Eye level, up overhead, keeping those elbows straight and drive. Rotating into those different positionings. Straight arm up and down. Look on that shoulder a little bit differently. Whoa, let that baby burn. Right? <laughs> you got this. Come on. 15 more seconds. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're going back to that shoulder press. This time we're going to be isometric on the right, moving with that left. Okay, roll those shoulders back, get in position in three, two, one. So we're lifting right up overhead and back down. So the last round what we'll do is we'll do both at the same time. Really press that all the way up and over your head, getting that full extension. Okay, you got that trunk nice and stable. Okay, I've got my weight over my heels. I've got my glutes activated. I've got my Abs activated, so I have that nice solid foundation on that core. So just work those shoulders. 10 more seconds. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Again, palms down on one rotation, palm, thumbs up on the other rotation. Roll those shoulders back in three, two, one. So eye level. And up overhead. Give me that full extension. Oh, work those shoulders, baby. Work those shoulders. Nice. Driving that all the way up overhead. Try to get those that right between your head and back down. A little bit different motion with a different palms the way they're facing, okay, the different grip strengths. Here we go in four, three, two, one, and rest, woo! Oh yeah, okay, last one of these. We're gonna just go up and overhead, get in that position, and three, two, one. Pressing them up overhead, try to get those things that touch all the way, full extension, and back down. About the time we're on that third round and thinking, okay, when are we working the glutes? By the time we're in third round of the glutes, now when are we working the shoulders? <laughs> Burning them babies out. 
Drive it all the way up and back down. These are smaller muscles. This is why we don't have a lot of heavy weights on this. You've got 15 more seconds. Drive that all the way up. Okay, try it. Drop the weight if you start compensating. We've got four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, even if you have to go down to no weight, you're still going against gravity with some of these. That's okay. These are small muscles. Okay, so let's finish out here. Roll those shoulders back in three, two, one. Lift them all the way up and then lift them up. Nice and controlled. Drive that all the way up, coming back down. Again, you can use water bottles for just one pounders. These are long lever arms. I've got my arms straight, so that's a long lever arm. That weight becomes very heavy. That's why it fatigues so fast. They're small muscles. 10 more seconds. Oh yeah, and we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we are going back down to the ground. I'm gonna grab my mini band. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to do um, bridging and fire hydrant. So the fire hydrants, if you don't have a mini band, you can decide to use a dumbbell and put it right behind your knee, or you can use a mini band. We're gonna be in that nice big quadruped. And we're gonna lift out to the side, making sure we're not rocking those hips. We're just lifting again from that hip. We're gonna go down on the ground for the first one and we're gonna do some single leg bridging. I'm gonna have one side back, one side forward. The one that's back is gonna be doing it. So it's a little bit staggered. So it focuses on one side. So let's get in position. And here we go in three, two, one. We're gonna lift and squeeze. So I've got my right leg all the way back towards my butt. I've got my left leg out front. My weight is on that right leg. And I'm out and I'm squeezing. As I come up, I'm gonna push those hips out just a little bit, those knees out just a little bit, and just give that nice, good glute squeeze and a little bit of that lateral abduction in that hip. Coming all the way up to the top and squeezing. Nice and controlled, you got this. Then we've got three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're rolling over to that quadruped position. Okay, we're gonna stick with that same side. We're gonna lift out to the side and squeeze. Here we go in three, two, one, lift and squeeze. Again, you can have a dumbbell right on that leg, giving you a little bit of extra resistance. On the glutes, you can, um, on the bridging, you can have weights on your um, chest, I mean on your hips to give a little bit of resistance. If you don't have a resistance band, or maybe you wanna try both. Maybe you're a superwoman, right? <laughs> Lift and squeeze. Oh yeah. Come on, you got this. 10 more seconds. Hang in there. We've got four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, this time I've got my left side back. I've got my right out a little bit more. So I got my focus on that left side. Let's get in position and we've got three, two, one, we're gonna lift up and squeeze. Squeeze at that top, really giving that full extension, opening up those hips. So when we activate our glutes and we really work them, you know what we're doing? We are counterbalancing all those hip flexors. So a lot of those hip flexors get very tight in us, but when we're activating that glute, we're opening up that hip and actually stretching out that hip flexor. So a lot of times we're very tight in our hip flexors because we're not activating our glutes as much. So this is a great way of actually opening up that hip. Here we go, and we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we've got that left side now to do for our fire hydrant. Here we go, let's get in position. And we've got three, two, one, here we go, and lift. We'll do half and half on each side on our last round. And that's about the time when we're gonna say, okay, I'm ready for my shoulder. <laughs> lift and squeeze, baby, lift and squeeze. Keep that up, you got to squeeze that baby. 15 more seconds. Good 
Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, this is our last one. We're gonna stagger and we'll just flip sides when we get to halfway mark, okay? So we're gonna start on that right side again. Let's get in position in three, two, one. Lift and squeeze and I'll give you the three second countdown to switch those feet. All the way up, making sure you're not just dropping when you come down, but you're controlling that down. There's strength in that down part. Your feet should be about shoulder width apart. Three, two, one, switch sides and down. If you've got a resistance band, you should have it enough where you get a little bit of that extra resistance as you have that positioning of shoulder width apart. Keep driving that hip up, we're almost done. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, let's finish with those fire hydrants, half and half. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoop, out to the side and down. Again, not letting those hips waver too much. We're just gonna lift through that hip and back. We're not gonna rotate that trot. We're gonna keep it nice and stable. Lift and squeeze. And we've got three, two, one. Switch sides and finish here. And then let's go to the shoulders after this, right? <laughs> Give the glutes a little bit of a rest. Whew. 10 more seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, drop those resistant bands. Okay, next activity, what we're gonna do is we're going to do out to the side lateral, but we're gonna keep our elbows bent at 90. We're gonna lift that 90 degrees and down. So right here and out. The other activity is we're gonna hinge down. We're gonna do a wide row. We're gonna extend that elbow and come back down. So a wide row and extend. Okay, so again, you're not gonna need a lot of heavy weights. The heaviest weight is gonna be that first one. Okay, it's gonna be a little more stable position. Let's bend those elbows, roll those shoulders back in three, two, one. So you wanna lift like through like you're pushing through those elbows out to about that 90 degree angle, shouldered level, and then back down. Working those delts. And what you wanna do is you don't want to hike that up. You wanna keep those shoulders down. You're lifting from that elbow, pushing out and coming back in. Again, I have my glutes and my quads activated. I have my lower back and my abdominals all fired up to give you that solid foundation. So all I'm doing is I'm moving through those shoulders. Here we go in three, two, one, and rest. Okay, wide row, wide row, and extend. Oop, I'm gonna drop my fives. Here we go. Hinge at that hip in three, two, one. Pull that into a wide row, extend those elbows, and back down. Wide row where you squeeze those shoulder blades. Extend those elbows and back down. Asking a lot of those shoulders in that position. Yes, it's working the tricep, but it's just like we work the biceps in some of that positioning because they're both shoulder movers, right? Our biceps and triceps help flex and extend that shoulders. So we're moving them and using them. We've got 10 more seconds. Squeeze and extend, and we've got five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, woo, shake those shoulders out. Okay, roll them back, get in that nice good positioning, bend those elbows, and we've got three, two, one. Lift out to the side and back down. Okay, the reason why I have you roll your shoulders is it automatically positions your head nicely above your shoulders, so we don't, we get in that forward positioning very easily. Just gravity pulls us that way. When I'm working with my clients or when I worked with patients in the clinic, especially neck and back patients, shoulder patients, I always had them set an egg timer so that they were rolling their shoulders throughout the day, resetting that posture. It just automatically has a posture reset. It's a great little cue for your body. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. 
Woo! Shake those shoulders. They're getting tired, aren't they? <laughs> okay, we're gonna hinge down. Here we go. In three, two, one. Drive those elbows back to squeeze those shoulder blades. Then extend them. Whew. Squeeze and extend. Picture what you're doing. You're squeezing those shoulder blades and then you're extending those elbows. Squeeze and extend. Halfway there. Oh yeah. 10 more seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. One more of each of these babies. Oh. Okay, let's get in position. Rolling our shoulders back, bend those elbows, and we've got three, two, one. Lift it out to the side and down. After this, and the ones where we do the next set, then we're gonna go into glutes again. Now, I am gonna use my bench for one of the activities in the next superset. You don't have to do that, but you can use your couch, a chair. I'm gonna do some hip thrusters off it, or you can go from the ground. It's gonna be similar to like a glute bridge, except we're just gonna do it off of the bench to add a little bit different. You, it's up to you, but I just wanted to let you know that. So if you wanted to get closer to that, that's there. And here we go, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Drop those weights. Okay, last one of these wide rows with the extension. Oh yeah, are you ready? Hands down and we've got three, two, one, Squeeze and extend. Squeeze those shoulder blades and extend. Nice good squeeze. Nice and extend. I am gonna use my bitty band for the next round. You don't have to. You can also use a dumbbell. And like I said, I'm gonna use a bench. But you don't have to. Here we go in 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, so I'm gonna get that bench out for myself or the couch or a chair. That way I can sit right here. I'm gonna drop my hip. I'm gonna do a nice good squeeze, okay, with my mini band. Now you can also do that down on the ground, right here and squeeze. The second activity is we're gonna be in that position. I'm gonna drive that knee in and out. So grab the bench if you want to, but you don't have to. Grab a dumbbell if you want to put that on top of your hips, especially if you don't have a resistance band. Let's get in position. Let's start out here. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. We're coming up and squeezing. And as I squeeze at the top, I'm going to push out just a little bit against that band. Now, if you don't have that band, you still can have that weight right up on that dumbbell. Giving that resistance right here on your hip. <sighs> Again, you can do this off of just putting your hands down. It just gives you a nice little rest break. If you have like a bench, chair, couch. <sighs> nice good squeeze those glutes. Drive it through those heels and push on out. 10 more seconds. <sighs> We've got five, four, three, two, one and rest. Okay, so I'm gonna work my right side. I'm going to use my left knee driving in and out. That's gonna work that right side as I drive in and out to that tall table. Here we go. Three, two, one. Drive down and out. You're pushing through that right heel. Gonna extend out in that position. And that is going to activate that right glute. Give it nice and fired up. You don't really need a resistance band, except it just keeps it. <laughs> or you're not taking it on and off for the different activities. It's not a convenience. <laughs> Down and back. We've got 15 more seconds. Almost there. I don't know about you, but my right glute is on fire. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, going back on up here. This time we're going to use just that right side and we're gonna stagger right here, down and up. Here we go in three, two, one. I've got my right leg back. 
My left leg's a little bit forward and I'm burning that right side out right now. Up tall and down. We did both sides the first round, and then we're gonna slip to the right and left on the last two. Drive that up and squeeze. It's gonna be tired from what we just did. That's okay, 15 more seconds. That's a good kind of burn. That's a working hard burn. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're coming down. This time our left leg's back. We're driving that right hip in and out, burning that left side out. Don't worry, we'll burn it out again on the bench too, right? Here we go. Three, two, one. Drive down, push out. Drive that knee in, push it out. Push it all the way out into that nice, good, tall tabletop. Come on, you got this. Burn that glute out, make it work. <laughs> We'll do half and half on this one on the last round. 15 more seconds, stay strong and steady. Hang in there, you got this. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Now, if you're not doing this on the bench, you can do it right here. You're doing staggered like this, or you're doing staggered like that on the bench, couch, whatever you got going. Here we go, three, Two, one, lift and squeeze. Nice tall squeeze at the top. Okay, I've got my legs staggered, my right leg's up front. It's not got much of my weight. It's all on that left glute, which is tired from what we just did. <laughs> Halfway there, come on. Give me a nice good squeeze at the top. We're almost done with the glutes. Then we only have one more super set to burn out those shoulders to finish out, right? <laughs> 10 more seconds. Hang in there, you got this. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we've got that last one. Half and half on each side on those knee drives. Get in position. Here we go in three, two, one. Driving in and out. Half and half. Keep giving that nice tall tabletop. Drive it all the way to the top. <sighs> nice and controlled. Come on, we're almost done with the glutes. We've got three, two, one, switch sides. Keep driving that down and pushing it out. <sighs> Stay steady and strong. 10 more seconds, almost there. And we've got five, four, three, Two, one, and rest. Woo wee. Oh yeah. Okay, next activity. We are going to do shoulder abduction. That's gonna be out nice and wide. This time with that long lever on, making sure we're not hiking that up. We're lifting out. We're gonna have one out, and we're gonna do a couple on this side. We'll hold out, we'll do a couple on this side. Give me that nice isometric burn. The other activity we're gonna do is what I call scaption. It's gonna be kind of not forward and not back. It's gonna be about 45 degree angle, thumbs up, right up to eye level. So you're gonna not want a heavy weight with this. This is gonna be light. Let's roll our shoulders back and let's get in position. Three, two, one. So we're gonna lift out and hold and then you're gonna drop that right arm. You're gonna up and down. Holding that nice and steady. Let that left arm shake. And then here we go, lift that arm up, drop that left side, up and out. Nice isometric hold, burning that shoulder out. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so this is gonna be thumbs up towards the ceiling. We're kind of coming out on that angle, right out and down. Again, no shoulder hike. Here we go, you ready? Three, two, one. So it's not out forward, and it's not out to the side. We're actually more in the plane of what your scapula, your shoulder blade sits at. That's why we call it scaption. It's in that plane. Okay, and we really focus on some really small rotator cuff muscles this way. 
Okay, it's a great shoulder work. We need those rotator cuff muscles. Their job is to really secure that ball in that socket and press it down when it needs to. So there's no impingement. A lot of impingement syndromes, that's from that weak rotator cuff and from a lot of imbalance from our poor posturing. Here we go, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're going back to doing those shoulder, one shoulder side hold, one shoulder side rocking it. Roll those shoulders back in three, two, one. Holding out and dropping that right side. Keeping that nice and steady, come on. Let that burn. Almost there. And three, two, one. Lift that up and drop the other side. Oh yeah. <laughs> On our last round, we're just gonna go up and down. No isometric hold. Keep that up, you got it, come on. Let that shake, it's good for it. It's working, it's hard. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, shake that baby out. We're gonna go back to that scaption, that 45 degree angle. Oh yeah, roll those shoulders back. Let's get in that great position and here we go. Three, two, one, lifting that up and back down. Again, really focus on making sure those shoulders aren't hiking. We compensate by hiking up with that upper trap rather than really working those rotator cuff muscles, really working on proper form, really making sure that that is gonna stabilize you. When you do daily activities, reducing the chance of shoulder injury. Most common shoulder injury is impingement syndrome as we age, okay? So that becomes that poor posture, those weak muscles. So we're focusing on that to make sure we don't have that problem, right? 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're just going out to the side and down. Just nice and controlled, out to that um, shoulder level and back. Are you ready? Roll those shoulders back in three, two, one, we're lift and down. If you're like me, you should say, my shoulders have felt worked. My glute has felt worked. We're almost at that finish line. We just got this and one more of the scaption, and then we get to do the cool down where we stretch those babies out. That will feel nice. <laughs> Again, same thing. Don't let the drop. You gotta control it up and back down and making sure you're not hiking that shoulder. Pay attention to that nice, good, solid form. You almost wanna feel like you're pulling out. That'll activate the right muscles, like you're pulling a string out to the side and back down from your leg. Five, four, three, two, one and rest. Okay, last one. We got discussions. And then those shoulders get a break and we get to stretch them out. Okay, roll those shoulders back. Here we go. In three, two, one, lift and back down. And out to the side and back down. Right in that nice, good 45 degree angle or so. Just that shoulder level and back down. Nice and controlled. Halfway there. You can feel the encouragement, right? <laughs> Hang in there, you're doing great. 10 more seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Okay, take those arms. So it's gonna drive that right over and really stretch out that shoulder we just worked. Oh, does that feel good? Oh yeah. And then let's pull it behind and get that shoulder. Oh yeah, push that baby back. And then let's do the other side. Pull that across. Nice, good. Shoulder stretch there. Get those deltoids. Come on over. Grab behind, opening up that shoulder a little bit. Also getting that tricep, we worked that baby. And let's take those hands and let's just open up that chest, move that shoulder back a little bit more and get that extension. And then if you need to, grab the wall. We're gonna take that foot, we're gonna sit down and really just open up that groove in that chest, press that down, really let that open up. And then we're gonna go to the other side. We're gonna cross that leg over, sit back, press that open. 
Getting that hip opened up, getting that glute stretched out. We're gonna come on up, we're gonna sit down, walk that all the way down and let your body hang and get that nice, good hamstring stretch. That hang, you're gonna take that right side, rotate over. Get that low back a little bit of that rotation in that. And then the other direction. Woo. Oh yeah. Let that hang. Nice work. Walk that out just a little bit. Push those heels down. Push a little bit more into that hamstring and then just flip back and forth just a little bit. Glide that baby. And then walk that baby up. Get a little bit more range. Pull through, walk that baby all the way up. Give yourself a high five for rocking that. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel below so you get new workouts every weekday morning. Also, if you want to know more about coaching or my Facebook group, that link's also below. And have a great day.